were, um, I think with his background, having played um, in a similar offense that in time, you know, my background being older, it went from the original I formation, you know, Midwest offenses that were ran. Um, you know, my college coach came from the Mid-American Conference, Nick Crum from Miami, Ohio. And when you went to North Carolina, you ran the sprint draw and the power and the counter and the fullback belly and the toss and power pass and sprint draw pass and counter boot and old fashioned I formation plays. And we did that. And in time, the only reason why we changed when we went to Northwestern in the 2000 season was just a need of not having tight ends led to the evolution of running this offense. Well, Coach Day's uh, coordinator at New Hampshire was Chip Kelly. Me and Chip had crossed paths through a mutual friend, James Patton, had got to know, uh, know uh, Chip when he was coaching at Rhode Island and Chip was at New Hampshire. And well, now we're at Northwestern. And so we visited and I think, you know, Chip kind of ran with it his way. We were kind of running with it our way in the spread. Over time, you know, I was an offensive line guy, background guy that had a little bit of quarterback play, but Ryan's a pure quarterback guy. But I think him being around uh, his background at Boston College and his background being around some of his coaches that, that he's, he had a couple stints there where uh, with Coach O'Brien um, uh, and with Coach Adazio, where he had some really good line background head coaches. So I think Brian's a skill guy that understands line play. I'm a line guy that knows a little bit about skill play, not a lot, but a little bit. And I think we have similar views, but slightly different, but they're cohesive in that we were playing through this spread game. When we came here, it wasn't like we were putting ideas in. We were learning what Coach Meyer wanted us to do, period. And we learned that style of offense and what the language was and, and the way he wanted to operate, getting the ball to, to Paris Campbell. And at the time with JK and Mike, Mike Weber and throwing the ball and what, what JT Barry could do with the line. Over time with Haskins and the passing game, it evolved a little bit the next year. But that initial year when we got here was, was really just trying to be a great teammate and, and, and be a part of, of what Coach Meyer would always say, it's the Ohio State offense. And over time, each year, the Ohio State offense has evolved a little bit. And in Ryan's time and, 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 and with him, we've changed a little. But really, we haven't gotten away from trying to be physical, run the ball, uh, score touchdowns in the scoring zone, take care of the football. Um, so, uh, you know, our vision never changed because we never got away from the core values. When I was at Miami, Ohio, excuse me, Northwestern years ago, and we changed the spread, we never got away from the core values that Randy Walker wanted. We were going to run the ball. We we're going to try to be physical. We we're going to take care of the quarterback. We we're going to win the uh, – a turnover battle, we're going to win the field position battle, play good defense, kick the ball well. Those are the same things we do. We try to do here at Ohio State. Those will be things we'll try to do uh, Monday night because that's going to be the key to winning. So we've been able to morph, morph and uh, evolve, but it really just started what Coach Meyer wanted. And since that time, we've kind of played to the strength of our players more than things that Coach Day or I or anybody wants to do.